y'all check this out. Not only can the old boy build motors and tune cars and drive a little bit. We can cook some sausage and egg and cheese sandwiches. What a hero. Good morning, everybody. Uh, here we are at day two of Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. We're just uh, getting the cars unloaded and blowing bubbles. And I think Steven is gapping some spark plugs. What are you doing over here? I was just putting new spark plugs in. What, do you run nitrous or something? No. But, you know, you just do everything you can and think you might win, so... Oh, okay. Plugs, Those are the win, win then I'll just put these in. Those are the winning plugs. Right. Okay, well, good luck with that. All right, guys, we are in the staging lanes for the first shakedown pass of the day. Um, as you can see, there's a ton of cars. And actually, I take that back. We're not even in the staging lanes. Um, this is what you set in before you get to the staging lanes. So we've got Steven's car up here. I think Steven's finishing his lunch right now and talking on the phone, multitasking all at the same. Oh, to the wife. Hey, Tori. So we've got him, we've got him sitting on the return road before you get to the staging lanes. So we'll see how they do. Look at this street car! Look at... Oh, wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. So we are in the lanes for our first round of qualifying. And everybody back there is laughing at us for these cool suits. But we ain't laughing because it feels nice. While they're back there having a heat stroke. There's a, a ton of cars up here. And uh, this might be the hottest I've ever been at a racetrack. It's hot, hot. So stay tuned. Hopefully we'll make a good pass. How does it feel to just beat the grub worm, Chris Moore? Grub who? That's exactly right. <laughs> hey guys. So uh, we had a, I guess a little bit of a grudge race brewing for this whole week leading up to Streetcar Takeover Charlotte between me and Jonathan Atkins, the grub worm. Uh, Stephen calls it the wax worm, so. Um, but anyways, we got paired up the first round of time trials um, and I came out on top. So 
that's a good way to start off the day now we are um we're up here at the top end of the track getting ready for a photo shoot with um, lsx magazine uh, we got the famous west back there taking pictures um, so yeah it's a beautiful day for some pictures We're uh, helping a racer in these. Um, aluminum downpipe broke. We're having to weld it back up. So Steven's gonna try to get him fixed up. So a little update. It's, uh, what time is it? Nine o'clock? It's 9.30. Um, we're not, just now eating something. Yeah, we, we just, just now cooled off and that's where you felt like eating. Yeah, it's it's finally cooled down to 90. And uh, it's, it's nice now, but we just ran our first. I'm sorry. That was mine and Steven's third pass of the day, but that was our qualifier for the stick class. Um, yeah, that was weird. I thought we were going up there to race, and then they told us that we were going up there to qualify. So, um, went up to make a pass just like normal, and for some reason, my car, when I dumped the clutch, just didn't shut off, but it just went to idle. It didn't move at all. Uh, my throttle position sensor, I guess, just went away. Um, I don't know if that was just a freak accident or what, but hasn't done it since and I've tested it a thousand times so not sure what was going on there so I run like an 11 second pass it was it was great and then Steven run what'd you run Steven like a nine or something yeah yeah he run like a nine second pass because he missed second and fourth no I, I didn't miss it the transmission missed it I was gonna I was gonna rephrase that he didn't miss it it just didn't go in gear so we're uh I was racing Jonathan. I think he has an actuator in his car that makes mine miss a gear. So he seen me coming, you know, and he just hit that button and it makes me miss my gears. And stuff. That's probably what happened. I mean, he built them. It's like that stuff we buy from China. They wanted it all to blow up. One time they hit that button. They just hit the button. It blows up. So that's what Jonathan's doing? Everybody's microwave's gonna blow up in our house one day because China's gonna hit the button. I'm gonna get rid of my microwave then. I'd watch it. You think our transmissions are going to do the same thing? You never know. If Jonathan wants them to, he can get his button and they will. Why didn't he do that when I beat him earlier? He <laughs> thought he had you. <laughs> Boy, was he mistaken. Uh, all right, we're letting them cool off a little bit. And then I guess here in another hour or so, they're going to call us up for first round of eliminations. Um, we'll hope for better results. All right, see you up there. <laughs> You're not talking. <laughs> not I don't make a good video if you just look at it. I don't have any words. It's 11 o'clock, and we are in the lane for the first round of eliminations. At this point, I don't even care if I win or lose. <laughs> I still care. I just want to go home. Oh, We're gonna be hung over for church. There's. There's probably another 50 or 60 cars in the lanes and they've already called us up. We we won't make a pass before 12 o'clock. Hey, look again. What's your name again? Alec. Alec Kate. So this is Little Moore and I am Mrs. Moore of Moore HP. And we are on stand recording duty. So we're gonna do a good job. We gonna cheer for daddy and uncle. Yeah, all right. So Watch for our videos from Turn up here.
Well, uh, that's a wrap on Streetcar Takeover Charlotte. Uh, we made our first pass, first round of eliminations. Our pass was at 11.45. And this race started at, or time trial started at 12 noon today. So we try not to be too critical about races, but this one was kind of a exception. Uh, there was plenty of time to get the race in and uh, there were classes that ran three rounds before the stick class ever ran one round. Uh, it was pretty crazy. So as we were getting pulling up to make our <clears throat> first pass, first round of elimination, uh, they walked up to us and said that curfew's at 11 o'clock. This was 11.45 and that this would be our only pass that we would make. So, um, I made a pass and spun a lot during the pass, but somehow ended up winning still. Um, a lot of people broke. The track was super slick. Um, Steven, Steven had tra transmission issues. Uh, his car would not go into fourth gear for some reason. Seems like the story of his his life with that car. It's always got some sort of transmission issue. So I'm walking to the streetcar takeover booth now to, I guess, split the pot of the stick class for the remaining four cars. So nobody wins today. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys on the next video.